He just doesn't get free kicks now, Ginnivan. No, nah, that's when horse he gets tackled. He does not get free kicks, and that one looked to be high. He wasn't even trying to lower his knees. If anything, he was trying to stand up. So the umpire, well, look at the replay. A bit of Norman. <laughs> that's a high tackle. <laughs> Jacob Wiedering had him in a headlock. Our last Stevie J getting escorted out of the Torquay pub. <laughs> Kennedy, a bouncing ball only as far as Quayne up. Went back, picked it up, dumped it back inside. Forward 50 motion. The big Coxie. show. And I'll tell you what, if he kicks this, I think there'll be some theatrics. He might point up to the box. This one's for you, Stevie. <laughs> So we'll see. Here's Wardlaw on the bottom of the pack. How many has he had today, by the way, Ash? We've been crapping on about him all day, but has he actually touched the footy yet? He has five disposals, a okay. couple of clearances and a couple of tackles. Let's not get too carried away crapping then, on. just the five. Get well, excited, debut. Five, five touches in Draft pick. one quarter and 11 and a half minutes of footy. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, you know, it's it's okay. There's an opportunity <laughs> out of the middle for He's Gordon. He looks thing. good. The five have been great, yeah. but there's just five. That's McDonald. Marks in the middle of the ground here for the Kangas. Six. The young umpires hit at AJB. Yeah, and I'm not sure they're covering themselves with glory. Neither is that kick. That's horrible. Oh. Georgie Wardlaw. Here he is. The man Brian Hello. says he's no. done nothing he's, no. in his debut. He's he's not a a second and second intercept mark. No. And we'll go back and take a shot on You goal. guys were built. 30 out directly in you front. You guys were building statues right. of him. Right. Never to be omitted from the North Melbourne no, tiger. No, he's, he's looking up at you, right Bristol, going, I reckon. Yeah. He heard you. Sh I love this him. one, Bristol. I love it. Georgie him. Wardlaw. <laughs> Would this satisfy you if he, if he finished this? It'd off be there? better because yeah. it'd make the five look a little bit more prominent. Well, Directly in there. front for his first goal in the big time. <laughs> Wardlaw <laughs> has missed to the oh, right with no. a very ordinary shot that ends up hitting the behind post out oh. the ball. Might have to build that statue with a bit of a wonky sort of leg on it. Lead it one way. Lucky came hard at him. Francis did well. Wardlaw's got a oh. stand in the net. There's a test for a young man wow. on debut, and he passed it. JB, that was just ridiculously brave. He had a look George Wardlaw and then went harder. He knew that he was going to get poleaxed and then decided to put his head down and charge harder at the foot. He's bounced up oh. ET, and that is why <laughs> you need to get on board, Statues. Bristle. Statues. I'm on board. He's you don't have now. to be a narc all the time, Bristol. <laughs> He's won me now <laughs> as Georgie <laughs> Wardlaw. He's got a real bogan look about him. <laughs> he looks a bit like Billy Pickin. Young yeah. Billy Pickin. Hang on. Short one here to Wardlaw. Yeah. See me numbers back here. So Wardlaw's got to think his way through this. Huge Sydney numbers. Oh, he just about caught. Oh, he did. Oh, he Nearly just, just fell over. <laughs> and then fell drilling up. low. Oh, 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 the eyes out of it. The hat's going on it. Phillips has taken the mark. A kick nobody saw. Darren Jarman like oh, that. And then he goes to base. It's <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, they've called for the head. The head's uh, going no, on No, they're now. just plastering the top rib. Oh. <laughs> Bailey oh. Scott's got it. 40 from home. All created by some Jarman-esque genius from Wardlaw. Oh, oh, bloody opponent. <laughs> Fellow, <laughs> he lost uh, his leg before he kicked that. Brian so still hit the target. The courage to, of the man to kick the goal <laughs> and reward Wardlaw. Yes, and get he to does. Get around, and gone through. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, I'm Love telling it. you, this is one of the great debut performances. <laughs> 8452 North, Sydney 9761, Triple M Peak and Trade School. <laughs> and Scotty, uh, how's Harry Mackay? Um, sort of handled the criticism that's been uh, come his way during the week. <laughs> criticism. Oh, I'm the Collingwood coach. The Collingwood coach. <laughs> <laughs> if you can go into the other room and find out for us, that'd be great. I just, I just seen Bossy walk past you and I thought, can you just ask? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, the I'm hiding. <laughs> Daisy, I'm hiding. Oh, we apologise. We apologise. Oh, he's only new. He's only new, mate. He's doing, he's doing the best he can. <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry to see you on the socials. Oh, oh, I appreciate coming on with you, boys. It's been good. Serrano Hotel. 
you like to venture <laughs> there, sir. <laughs> you as well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Should have seen him, Jim. One oh, what sort Bill. of nick was Billy? <laughs> oh, Bill couldn't even see. <laughs> Don't you say it. Oh, 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 drunk as a lord. Oh, oh, drunk you, as a lord. You were giving us these tips on the, on the horses and they were shocking. No, oh, <laughs> stop asking for them. He's still doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him, form God. Stop asking for him then, sir. It was White Night, wasn't it? Was that New Year's Eve or was that another uh, night? Yeah, I think it was New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah. White Night. Yeah, yeah, White Night. Oh, looked good in your whites. He wore cricket whites. He looked terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Rips a pasta down his shirt. Uh, he was, oh, you you no. can't even remember it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he had to tell you that's what happened. <laughs> I like the fact that the zoo, he comes in regularly with us and yep. he's got, he gets the better of Bill every no, day. <laughs> Bill thinks that he's, he's on got top. Him. Yeah, he's he's got him. He starts oh. fidgeting. He gets real <laughs> nervous. He goes up he, and down. He's fidgeting now. <laughs> I'll get still. the hornet. I'll get oh. the hornet. Oh. Break the other he, side. He, he picks you up, old hornet. <laughs> what about the cards in him? Oh, get him, oh, get him. <laughs> oh, shit, that hurt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So, as you know, on a Monday, mm. often Nathan and I are part of a tennis group. Me. Yep. yep. And, and, and Nathan's a very, very good tennis player. Very good. Played a lot of junior tennis, particularly good. Luke He's got Jack. weapons. He's got weapons. Six, three, we were playing on Monday, and uh, there's a, I, I guess it's a, a, an unspoken rule, Duke, in tennis that if you're really close to someone, and they're on the other side of there. You don't smash the ball at them. Mm. You don't troop somewhere in that. No, you can do it from a distance, but yeah. not from point blank. Yeah. Well, it was mid court. So, so we're playing on Monday. <laughs> it was mid court. I was at the service. The ball line. was mis hit, and, and, and he's just climbed into this one. And I mean, climbed into it from inside inside the service line, and I'm at the net at on the, the other service. side. Oh. Couldn't have hit it any better. Flattered it <laughs> as hard as he possibly could. <laughs> this ball was about to hit me between the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> My reflexes aren't what they used to be. So I was only able to turn my head about 90 degrees. So I wore it, I wore it right in the Greg Deer. But picture the part, if it was trying to enter your oral orifice, that's where it actually went. The ball almost forced its way into my ear, at which point I was completely knocked over, collapsed. I was in all sorts. I was holding my head. Doing everything I could not to scream in pain. <laughs> Did I get any words of encouragement? He would have been laughing like he's laughing yeah, now. He would have been. While they were laughing, I picked myself up and walked into the change rooms to see if there was actually blood coming from me because I'm fearing a perforated eardrum or something even worse. Oh, that makes me laugh. A couple of minutes in, I'm thinking that there's no permanent damage. Still unsure at this stage, but thinking there's no personal damage, no permanent damage, and I... Wander back out thinking, oh, they'll all be upset. The game's continued. <laughs> it has not missed a beat as if I wasn't even there. So I go and have a test done at the specialist during oh, the week. No. Because there's a bit of buzzing and, and, and ringing in my Tinnitus. ears. Yes. Some yellow fluff. So do you, it's, <laughs> do you reckon I've had any follow up communique have from you? said person? Have you? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. No, I, I sent you a we, text. What, what Do you want say? to read the text? I sent you a text. I said, how did you go at the doctor, Chief? Did they locate that tennis ball in your ear? <laughs> <laughs> Chief, now, now uh, this is a young man against a much older yes. man who's slowing down as he yes, gets older. Yes. Because you can hit a ball. Oh, how, how well did you correct. hit this one? I couldn't have flustered any better. <laughs> and it was at the service line, so it was... Inside the no, service line. And so that's what we normally give many a times you've tried to get me, Chief. You no. just haven't been able to do it. <laughs> I think we saw Steele side bottom put the top on. I think he's just cold down there. Makes sense. He's old. It was a good theory you went with, though. I liked it. Mm. This wasn't accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Not everything works out, <laughs> to be honest. You went through a minute and a half diatribe about getting him through to his 300th game. <laughs> he wasn't even subbed out. <laughs> have you been invited, Daisy, to his private function for his 300th? I have. <laughs> Didn't get invited to the wedding. <laughs> I'll be going regardless. I'll just show up. <laughs> I'm shocked. As a premiership teammate, you didn't get invited to the wedding. There was a few of us that were shocked, Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Who, who was, was the one who invited who, who, that you didn't think would? The Blues Nathan Buckley. Buck's got an invite. Bucks, yeah. Okay. Ahead of you. Ahead. Well. And it hurt. I'm not going to lie. Carlton kicked the points from that stoppage. 34 point, 36 point margin, I should say. There's more kicks at long. Kennedy. We'll find out more about the wedding shortly. High ball. <laughs> 
We're at the oh, room. there's another one. Two oh, man. Well. Two man. Darcy Moore's taking 10. The bench is just record. lifted here. Here we go. <laughs> Still got 20 plus minutes remaining as well, Stevie. To break yeah. the record. Going to be a new world record set today. Oh. We're intercept marks. Brian Taylor's oh. favourite He can do it here. Here we go. Darcy Moore's going to launch. Oh, he was held off the ball. Little check from Pitnet was good and allowed Harry Mackay in front to take the mark. And he'll go back from 50 out to 45 degree angle. Now Ed Kerno. Will he look for his brother? He will, but here's a chance for Darcy! He's got it! There's the world record! He gets number 11, gets two men out of his seat. And he sits aloft. The intercept Mark King. That's what you live for, Joey. Lake Records. Boga is going to go off its tits at Christmas time. <laughs> the other boxers have absolutely no idea what we are doing. We've all got out of our seats and jumping around. They're sitting there rather confused. <laughs> you haven't been out every night. Yes, I have. Well, because one night. Yeah. He, I'll tell you what he yeah. did, right? He What's comes happened? into the rush hour yeah. and he's that excited. Yeah. And Hose and I are dealing oh, with him and Rabs and he gives it the, uh, oh, I'm out tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going out tonight. Porton, I'm out tonight. Yeah. And I went, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm going out. I know where you're going. I'm going out for dinner with Hutchie. Silly. Oh, I'm going out for dinner with Hutchie. Hutchie, yeah. One of the big movers and shakers yeah. in this town. And yeah. he and I, yep. just the two of us, are going out for dinner. And he went home and eyed the shirt, didn't he? Ho Hose and I looking at each other the going, bot. that's not that big a deal. I mean, we all love the supercar driver, but I'm not sure I'm... Like, oh, Shut up, Hose. Extraordinarily <laughs> excited. <laughs> anyway, so he comes in the next day, and I could tell he was a bit flat. Yeah. <laughs> and I looked at him, and I said, what happened to you, fat? Oh, no. Because at the... Oh, I'm not much. I said, I said, how was your night? He goes, it's all right. And I said, what do you mean it was all right? He goes, well, I got there. I got there and uh, Hutchie turns up and he said, I, I bought him a beer. Yep, yep. And he bought me a beer. Yes, yep. Jim. And, and, he's, and at that stage, it's about five to seven. And then Hutchie looked at him and said, look, I've got a seven o'clock. <laughs> no. That was the end of his night. So it was just a drink catch up, was it? Two schedules, two meetings. <laughs> <laughs> One at six. So I'm sitting there. I had three. I was just warming oh, in. Oh, beautiful. Oh, we, got some, up. we got some popcorn chicken. <laughs> oh, I saw two pieces of that. <laughs> oh, those big hands. Imagine these two. Imagine these two trying to fight over the popcorn, popcorn chicken. chicken. <laughs> that poor chicken. And then he's, <laughs> he shut you down at no, six. At seven o'clock. We spoke about New York because that's where I'm taking the kids at right. the end of the year. Yes. I think. Uh, just seeing on some flights and how much they cost. We might go to, <laughs> might go to Geelong, Adelaide. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, had a good chat about New York, yeah. and then it got to five to seven. He goes, uh, anyway, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, I've got another meeting at seven. Oh, he's some a... Melbourne United basketball oh, no. guy coming. <laughs> so he's moved you on from the well, pub you were at. It was a bit awkward because he sits on the table and I'm thinking, oh, well, we'll just have it. We can still have dinner. And, yeah. and he goes, <laughs> off you go, Bill. We've got a bit of stuff to discuss here about the basketball. Oh, he's moved on. I mean, he moved Bill on. <laughs> it's like speed dating. So I got it. Me I had my folder with uh, New York on it. I was oh, like, yeah. highlighters. <laughs> I had highlighters and pens. A New York folder. No, the host gave me the folder, the oh, vanilla. No. Told me what to do Christmas Day. And I had it all bloody beautiful. Oh, no. Five to seven years. Uh, right, oh, Bill. Off you and go. And then the old mate comes in. Nice bloke. I don't know who he is, but nice bloke. <laughs> anyway, oh, mate. about five two, I could I was freezed out. I could feel <laughs> it. <laughs> freeze, freeze. So I just pick up the folder, I just push on. I walked into the bar, didn't know anyone there, so I went down one seven nine, a little shop down there, and had a nice little risotto. So stuff <laughs> <laughs> your heart by yourself <laughs> on my own. You and your New York book. Yeah. I just went over it again. Went so over I the do highlighted pieces. I, 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 I do have uh, oh, from Hutchie oh. uh, some correspondence. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I said. I said, uh, Hutchie, oh. <laughs> what, what the hell happened? Bill thought you were in for a big a, night, a yeah. big night, a comprehensive dinner. Yeah. You know, and I'm quoting here, had to wrap him up. <laughs> Short slot allocated. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, that thing gets done. <laughs> See, he's done. And now there's a critical one on one. Heppel. Out points Mansell and takes the mark 80 metres out, goes short to Redmond. 65 from home.
In the exact same spot he should have got a handball received from. Wiedemann wants it long. Draper wants it in the pocket. Kick goes in that direction. Here's Stringer. He's on the boundary line. Screws it to the top of the screen. Durham! My boy, Bull Durham, has taken the mark. Top of the goal square. And with 32 seconds left, can go as far back as he likes. Take all 16 seconds left on the shot clock. There'll be about five second differential to put the Bombers in front by a point. 12 seconds, 11. You wouldn't read about it. The Bombers are in front by a point with seven seconds to go. They've kicked four of the last five goals. Matt Stevick to bounce the footy. Then Curvis and Draper in the ruck. Draper smashes it out of the centre circle. Durham came charging off the back of the square. The Bombers take care of business. The streak is over. After 13 straight losses, the Bombers beat the Tigers by a point in dream time at the G.